In this video, we're going to talk about apomers. As we talked about in the last video, apomers are a type of diastereomers. Specifically, they are diastereomers that differ in absolute configuration at a single chiral center. Remember, diastereomers have different absolute configurations, but they can differ at multiple chiral centers. So if you have a situation where you differ at a single chiral center, then you are an apomer. We've got a couple examples here. So the first example is D-glucose versus D-galactose. So if you look at these two molecules, they have the same molecular formula, C6H12O6. And if you look at the chiral centers, there's four of them. And you're going to see that they have the same absolute configuration at three of the chiral centers. This one at the top, this uh, second one, and this one on the bottom. However, if you take a look at this chiral center, you notice that they have absolute, absolute configurations. In glucose, the hydroxyl group is facing the right, and in galactose, the hydroxyl group is facing the left. So these two are epimers. You also recall in the last video, I also talked about anomers being another type of diastereomer. Anomers are actually a subset of epimers. They're epimers of carbohydrates at the anomeric carbon. We'll talk more about anomeric carbons and carbohydrates in subsequent lectures, but at least you can see here that I've got two molecules, alpha D-glucose and beta D-glucose, that are anomers of each other. Here you can see glucose in its cyclic form, and again, if you look at all the atoms at the chiral centers, you're going to see that the chiral centers match up at every single chiral center except this one right here. This atom that I've circled is the anomeric carbon, and you can see that the positions of the hydroxyl groups are different in the two. So that essentially says that they have different absolute configurations at these two chiral centers, so they are epimers. But again, the fact that it happens specifically at the anomeric carbon means that they are anomers. And when the hydroxyl group is facing down, that's the alpha anomer. When the hydroxyl group is facing up, that is the beta anomer.